Hey everybody, this is Claire, and this is Small Joyful Things. As always, I go to thrift stores or estate sales, or sometimes I buy things from Craigslist, and I'm always looking for interesting stuff or things that I think you guys might like to know about, and then I bring them home, try and find out as much as I can about them, and then tell you guys about them. So here's what I've got today. I have a teacup and a saucer, and they are quite beautiful. Um, I don't know actually if they would strictly call this a teacup. It may be a little bit small. It may just be like a like a coffee cup. And it has this incredible gold design. You can see all of the gold like on the edge. And like normally when I actually see like vintage cups like this, I well, I mean, first of all, I see a lot of kind of ones that, that essentially don't look like this style. They look kind of more um, like more Victorian, I guess. This is, is definitely unusual. And if they have gold or any kind of gilt edging on them, they tend to be kind of worn or they look like they've been used. Not in this case. This has, as far as I can tell, never been used at all. You can see the gold on the handle is perfect. Could have been made yesterday. Saucer is the same, just beautiful, beautiful color all over the place. And we do have a mark, I'll get to that in a sec, but I just wanted to show you, like, this is just an incredible, an incredible set, incredible quality more than anything else. Um, I bought the, the two together for $4, I believe. And the interesting thing about this is that I was actually in a thrift store and I saw this and immediately just saw that, that lovely design and thought it was really something quite special. But the, the actual tag on it said as is, and it was $4 for the set. And I was like, oh, that's such a shame. It must be broken somewhere. But I have studied this inside and out. I cannot find anything wrong with it. I mean, I, obviously I bought it because I did just, I really, really tried. And I was kind of expecting, oh, maybe it's cracked or maybe there's something else going on. You know, has it been chipped or something? It hasn't. I, I have tested every surface I have examined it closely and obviously you can see it here on camera there is no hint of a crack there's no chip at all there's obviously the mark it's perfect i don't i don't get it i think they must have made a mistake and to be honest like you have to understand a thrift store or whatever is dealing with like thousands and thousands of items a day it's not going to be weird for them to miss something or to make a, make that kind of mistake and again i have looked over this very very carefully I, i've felt it i've held it up and examined the surface looking for anything and you can see like where the little you know the smudges where i've basically you know i've touched it with my hand but there's nothing it's it's porcelain it is perfect all of it crazy so yeah, um, one thing I was actually wondering about is whether this is actually a set that goes together. You know, obviously, uh, a lot of the time if you have a saucer or whatever, you can have, um, they should have like a little, like a little divot or a little kind of impression here that the cup actually sits into. Not in this case. I did go and look this up because I wanted to be sure. Like, the first thing to know about it anyway, Fitz and Floyd, Fitz and Floyd Inc. And we have the Golden Heron. And I did actually go and look this up. Um, that here, it says 1977. So, see, 1977, Japan. Fitz and Floyd. <laughs> Very lovely. So, what do we actually know about this? 1977, is that actually when this was made or was there something else going on? And the, the, the nice thing to start off with is that this isn't just a plate or whatever like that. It's an entire dinnerware set called the Golden Heron, done by Fitz and Floyd. And you can see here's another one of the marks. And here's some examples of like the other pieces in the set. This is beautiful. <laughs> very, very, very beautiful. And, it, and then, yes, of course, the, the mark says copyright 1977, but this is definitely like the that, that kind of like that retro kind of style that I kind of think of as like of being around that time, like in the, in the, like the, seven, the late 70s. Late 70s, early 80s, I think. Definitely before like, we got into those kind of weird abstract neon stuff in the 80s anyway. I can remember that from growing up. Yeah. This though, this is something else. This is just so, so stylish. And you can see these lovely kind of, kind of oriental, uh, or I should say, not oriental, Japanese designs. Like, it really is something phenomenal. The entire set is 
just incredibly beautiful. And best thing is, we have it here. It's on replacements.com. Now, here's the thing. Discontinued, okay? Description is golden tan birds and water, golden heron. Its status is discontinued. Actual is 1984 and 1986. And that does beg the question. We have the base of the mark that says copyright 1977. And that's kind of weird. Like, replacements.com is usually pretty good about this kind of stuff. So if they say it was actually from these two years in the late, like in the, in the, in the mid 80s, I kind of tend to believe them. But I'm not sure then what the significance is of the mark on the base of this. Obviously, it's identifying the pattern. I have a feeling that the 1977 copyright mark is probably like essentially the design. When the design was created by Fitz and Floyd, that was the copyright, like the copyright date or whatever they were, whenever they officially registered it. And it's possible that these are the, the years that they actually produced the dinnerware set. This is really a guess, I have to say. Um, I think based on replacements.com, at the very least we can say is that this is vintage, mid 80s or earlier which would kind of make sense definitely from the design, but obviously the, the copyright itself is stamped 1977, so it's got to be after that. So after 1977, before 1986. And really, really, really incredible. It's just got this lovely kind of a very kind of a, I don't know, kind of retro, I don't want to say retro futuristic because it's kind of not, but I do recall like these, the, the colors of like these, these kind of long, kind of long straight like lines with this kind of rounded edge or whatever like that. That was definitely something that I think of as being kind of like 1970s kind of, kind of design. Maybe late, eh, yeah, yeah, that kind of, that kind of definitely kind of around that time period. Um, I don't know the name of it, I just know what to see it. Um, the colours are definitely that as well. Like there was like this the 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 are the, the bands of like orange and orange, brown, and then yellow, I think, that kind of follow this kind of a pattern. I've seen pictures of that and I was like, yeah, yeah, that's definitely that's definitely said the 70s or whatever. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just <laughs> thinking out loud because I'm trying to figure this out. Um, just to be clear, this is the actual Roman numerals, because I don't actually trust myself to just know this off the top of my head, I'm sorry. You can see here, MCML XXVII. MCML XXVII, there we go. Google says it's 1977. <laughs> I was kind of wondering, oh, will I work it out? Nope, not going to do that. <laughs> so apart from that, like, is there an actual market for this? I was betting that there was. As soon as I picked it up and I saw it was Fitz and Floyd and apparently in perfect condition and it was beautiful to begin with, I was like, this is someone's gonna like this. Someone's someone's going to really love this. So if we take a look at eBay, yes, indeed, they do quite like it. You can see that somebody sold an entire set here. It's a thirty-seven piece set service for eight, minus a couple of sauce and salad, and it went for hundreds. Plus, plus a ridiculous amount of shipping. You can see here that that this this set doesn't come up very much, but it definitely does sell. Like. New plate, probably, like, I mean, it's best offer accepted, but it's definitely one to take. See another one here, the salad plate going for 18 Canadian dollars. That's going to be about, like, um, doing the math in my head, maybe, like, $14 US. Like, that's not bad. Um, This one, by the way, I, I'm in love with these little cups. Here we go. I just, I, the, the style is just... It's just something you cannot even. <laughs> and obviously these are like the, the, you know, the coffee cups or whatever, but oh, they're just, I love the shape. They're so like, they're just the slight, the slight curve on the outside, the, the hair and everything, the design. They're just so classy. I, I can't get over them. So here's another few examples. Like here's just the coffee cup, the Art Deco cup. Well, they're describing it here as being Art Deco. I don't think I would. I would think with the, that, that long, those long kind of, curved lines I'm like no that's not, that's not really art deco I would definitely call it the 70s but yeah just the cup on its own going for see they're like 11 plus shipping or whatever like that so maybe like nine dollars eight or nine dollars us yeah eight or nine dollars us and again I spend four dollars Canadian on this entire set um now do we actually have any others and we do we do have a few pieces um just one coffee cup on its, on its own going for 18 Canadian. We have a few other bits and pieces as well. They are, they're fairly pricey. 
and there are no other cup sets of this type. So based on all that, I say it's fairly reasonable that this is probably going to be worth maybe 20 to $30 Canadian. I'd say it's probably that. I will likely put it up on Etsy. Um, I find eBay is really good for looking for comparable prices, but to be honest with the amount of vintage stuff I like to, to, to deal in, I, I get much more I get much more success out of Etsy and I do prefer the interface. So I think that this, this is it's really beautiful and I've been incredibly tempted to keep it and use it for coffee for myself. But I generally drink more coffee than this will hold. So it's gonna be probably better to let it go to someone who's actually collecting the entire like the entire set. One thing that would definitely put me off collecting the set myself is the fact that it's not dishwasher friendly. It being gold and and the gilt and everything it's phenomenal and it looks incredible but it's not dishwasher safe it never is you cannot put anything with gold with like gilt on it into a dishwasher it'll be destroyed so yeah i'm sure someone's going to love this though um i for you know for what it is and hopefully someone who's collecting in the entire pattern will will get it and and really enjoy it so here we go this is my small joyful thing for the day. I hope you guys like it as well. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.